So Ashlyn Law is going to be AIing our our cow Tilly today, and she's explaining everything to Joseph. This is our first time. No, it basically goes inside of Oregon. No. Joe, you remember how we talked about how when somebody gets pregnant, the male seed has to go inside the female animal and that when the and the seed and the egg have to join to make a baby? Do you remember how we talked about that? Okay, so the seed, we can't bring a big bull in here. I guess it's white while it's frozen. Because of all the other cows and everything. So this has the seed from the bull in there. Kind of looks seed through right now. And so she's her instrument will push the seed out into Tilly. Like so, basically that acts like Wait, the bull. In her mouth or in her butt? butt. In her butt. In her backside. <laughs> so you'll see it. You can come and sit on the white bucket when she gets AI back here. Okay. okay. Science class will be totally covered for today. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see her put it down her shirt, but that's to keep it warm because that semen has to stay Wait, warm. Wait, is what bird is he able to here, Joe, why don't you come sit in here so you can watch. So she wears those long gloves to keep herself clean, or in theory, to try to keep herself clean. <laughs> and, the, and so we tied her back legs so she won't kick her. Sit on your bum. And then she's going to come in through her backside where her vulva is and she is going to find the organ that the seed needs to go into and then she's going to use her her they call it a gun but it's like an instrument that pushes out that um seed into tilly well why don't you watch instead okay you, go, you can't get up there all right you'll be able to see it Are you wiping her butt? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Joe, you are like learning a lot today, buddy. <laughs> I've touched gooey, 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 no, the fishing stuff. Yeah, get her but, butt wet first. That's a lubricant. Do you so think this is like, this helps her slide in more easily. Yep. What she falls over? I don't think she's going to fall over. What if Tilly falls over and she sits on... Uh, she's not going to fall over. You'll see her hunch up her back because they are trying to receive this. Okay, so she's like, okay. She thinks she's like a bull, so she's going to like hunch up her back to get ready for her to go in. Yeah, there we go. She Wait, is, is the thing in it now? No, no, it's not yeah. the shirt. So she's fine in the area where it needs to go, okay? It is. So she's got to clean her out first. Okay. She's got to move the stuff out so she can feel in there. Ew! I know. <laughs> Ew. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You are gonna. Are you gonna tell the girls all, all everything you learned about AIing a cow now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Baby, Sean, mm -hmm. um, you might need to take up those reels so that I can back out the van. Okay. Sorry, I know you want to. You don't want to miss this. Now, now she's putting in the semen. Now she's gonna put this in. This little tool goes all the way in where she is, and her hand helps guide it. Yeah, she she's not too happy about it. Sorry about hitting your head. <laughs> I saw that it was white. You feel the service? Yeah. Okay. Is it hurting, Tilly? No. No, she'd be mooing. This feels like sex to her. 
Well, he doesn't know quite what that is yet, Ashlyn, but maybe we need to have a talk now. <laughs> I feel like this is this is complete science class for an eight-year-old. Is she still pooping? Yeah, yes. Trying to, try to find different words. <laughs> Ashlyn, tell me how you got involved in this. Joseph. Well, we have a couple of cows of our own at home, and a while back we had a Holstein that we needed bred, and our friends came over to breed them for us, and I thought that I could do it. So I decided to go to Circle 5 and learn from there. I have a question. Can a cow have twins? Yes, yes. but usually the females are infertile. Usually if they have twins and they have a boy and a girl, the female cow will not be able to have babies. They call that a... This is good. This means she's receiving her. Yeah, oh, okay. But, yeah, but what if... What if it's a girl... What do they call it? A free martin? Girl. Yeah. Free, free so martin. so if, if it's a girl and a girl and they're twins... That's fine. Yeah. That's good. But if it's a girl and a boy, like if it were you and Ella, like your twins... The female cow would get like almost too much of the boy's hormones while she's in the, while she's developing, and then she would not be able to have babies when she's would born. Would the belly get really, really, really big? Yeah, probably. What if it was a boy and a boy? Uh, if, if she had, if it had two bulls, yeah, then that they would be, be, fine. be fine. It's usually when there's just two other what two. If she had... <laughs> Three, what did I say? Triplets. Yeah, what? Do they have triplets? Good thing we got that rope on. Yeah, right. Thank you. Leo's not happy today. <laughs> no. Well, when, are we, mommy, when are we going to watch Bonnie and Leo? We're going to go get them right after this. It's been an adventurous day. Are they gonna stay with us till the night? Mm -hmm. Are they gonna are we gonna have a sleepover? No. <sighs> is it um is it almost nighttime? Buddy. Uh it's getting there. But the top one I was trying to feel is for this thing that feels like a turkey neck. And that's the cervix, what they call the cervix. And her gun's got to find that cervix. It was three rings. And she's gotta get that gun past the three rings. And her hand with the pink glove on it feels for the gun through the, there's a thin lining between her bottom part and her top part. So that her top part, her hand can feel everything in the bottom part through that thin lining of skin. I can stick on my arm there. Man, it's good you're not a T-Rex. <laughs> short arms. You know, that would be T-Rexes are not meant to be AI techs, huh? Yeah, if I was any shorter, probably be a bad thing. Well, she, bad she got thing. it. Yeah? She found it. Uh, her cervix was almost all the way to her hip bones. Wow. <laughs> so we don't reuse those, right? <laughs> so you feel like you found what you're looking for? All right, awesome. So when would we know? Like, what would we be looking for to see if it took? Well, as in going in there? Yeah, to see if, like, if it was um, oh, she's effective. Yeah, you have she's to get that little bio print. Okay, what's it's that? a little blood test thing you can get online. And you can just do it at home. And you just, you just it'll down tell you if bit. she's spread yeah. or not. So um, what do I do to But Ashlyn can come and test her in about two or three months, maybe. To okay. See if she's bred also. And during her next heat cycle, she would, I'm assuming, not act like she's in heat. Sometimes they do act like they're in heat. It's a false heat. It's okay. They'll go into a false heat, but um, you know, so don't be alarmed if, if she didn't say. Okay. The the best way of um figuring it out is to get that little bio print test. Okay. So... And how how far along does she need to be for me to be able to have that done? Just a few weeks. Just a few weeks. Okay, great. All right, awesome. Can you say thank you and to Miss Ashlyn? Take, I'll come back and rebreed her to the same pool. Okay, because we have the two. So, um, so that sounds great. So we're hoping for our hope is for a heifer calf 
from a bull called Lemonhead. He's the one that we bred her to. And um, that's our that's our goal. <laughs> Look at you. You got, you're eating on this end. You got your baby beside you. Look at you. I had to get my entire elbow in there. <laughs> you did an awesome job. I know. She's like... <laughs> It's crazy. She's pretty good at it. Thank you, Ashlyn. <laughs> you're welcome. So if you are local and you're looking for an AI tech, Ashlyn Law is um, available. And how far do you go, Ashlyn, right now? Um, and we're within Missouri so far. Okay, awesome. Most of Missouri. Yeah. Most of Missouri. So we'll let you know how everything goes in a few weeks. Like, subscribe, and share to Fulham Family Farm. We are a family of eight starting a brand new farm from the ground up.